How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for yet another beer review. I'm going to be looking at a couple beers from Mikella today. Um, he's a Danish gypsy brewer out in uh, Denmark, but uh, recently set up a brewery tasting room kind of thing in uh, San Diego, so pretty cool. They're focusing on uh, American style beers out there. Uh, tons of hoppy beers, both West Coast and East Coast style uh, hoppy brews. Uh, some uh, imperial stouts, adjunct stouts, stuff like that, and uh, I believe a few sours they're doing as well, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, haven't had anything from the uh, new area yet, uh, just came to Alberta a little while back, so I figured I'd give these a review. So, um, yeah, gonna be starting out with their Sparks Nista American Pale Ale. And then finishing off with the Waves Bolia India Pale Ale. Once again, great artwork as usual from Michaela. Some people don't like it, I personally just find it awesome. But uh, yeah, let's get this one uh, crack poured, see how it is. This one's coming in at 5.6% alcohol by volume, pretty cold right now. Um, but uh, yeah, should have maybe let it warm up a little bit more, but wow. Big ol' head on this brew. Uh, pours a... A uh, fairly hazy, uh, bright orange kind of color, monstrous head on it, a uh, big fluffy, frothy, off-white kind of head. Um, looks really nice, tons and tons of carbonation on the body there. Let's get an aroma. Got some of that uh, West Coast grapefruit uh, kind of bitterness going on right away, some piney notes. Maybe hints of like a mandarin, something like that, really piffy kind of aromas. But there's a beautiful sweetness to it, like a, uh, I want to say like maybe they're using wheat or oats in this one. It's got that kind of a creamy almost vibe to it, um, if that makes sense at all. But uh, it's got this nice sweetness, really digging the aroma. So uh, yeah, let's try it out. Cheers. That's really pleasant. Very uh, peachy. I'm getting lots and lots of stone fruit off this beer. It almost reminds me of like a, yeah, like peach uh, cobbler. It's got this grainy kind of bready kind of thing going on. Uh, in the background there, this nice sweetness, but a big peach and like a apricot stone fruit kind of vibe. I'm getting maybe like a hint of uh, brown sugar, something like that, way in the background there. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, really pleasant beer. Uh, not amazing at all, but uh, super easy drinking. Uh, nice mouthfeel to it, it's dry, it's crisp, but still has this wetness to it, if that makes sense at all. Um, just really nice brew, uh, goes down super easy, and definitely worth picking up. Um, yeah, so let me know what y'all think of uh, Sparks Nyster American Pale Ale from McKellar. As a rating on this one, I'm going to go, excuse me, uh, Right around a 85, straight up like B plus kind of rating, really good stuff. And we are back with Waves, also known as Bullier IPA from McKellar, 7.3% alcohol by volume and brewed with wheat, so pretty cool. Pours a uh, half a finger, bright, bright white, soapy, bubbly uh, head on this one, tons of carbonation on a, just a really beautiful golden yellow just juicy bright uh, hazy kind of color to it super juicy looking um yeah that's how i want my ipas to look so um let's get an aroma mm. yeah tons of like a again like a really peachy kind of vibe some sort of yeah like a vanilla the sweet vanilla kind of aroma coming off this one Getting this beautiful, juicy, like, uh, 
what is that, like pineapple, maybe a melon, yeah, tons and tons of like cantaloupe, something like that. Hints of grapefruit in there, but this really nice uh, breadiness in the background there, like this uh, vanilla, like a vanilla cake kind of thing, if that makes sense at all. Um, yeah, it's just got this beautiful sweetness to it. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Yeah, nice uh, herbal, uh, hoppy, dank kind of thing going on right away. It's almost like mint, basil, um, that kind of bitterness, some pine, resin. Maybe a little bit too carbonated. Um, I would like the carbonation in these beers to be a little bit less. It does uh, uh, get a little sharp, you know. But uh, other than that, the mouthfeel is really nice. It's got this nice uh, slight creaminess to it. Really nice sweet mouthfeel. Getting tons of like vanilla. Yeah, getting that just um, this creamy vanilla kind of vibe. Excuse me. Yeah, some uh, stone fruit. Getting some melon kind of flavors. Just a really, really nice IPA. Um, yeah, good one once again from McKellar as a rating on Waves Bullier IPA. Um, I think I'm going to go uh, straight up 88 on this brew. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think of uh, McKellar's beers, uh, their Nister uh, APA, their Bullier um, IPA, any of their other brews. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Till the next time, cheers.